the corner. <laughs> 5104 on his first run, can he improve on that? It'll be a 50. It is. It's a 50.97. Now on the hill, heading towards Orchard, is James Blackmore. Well, that puts Lee Adams top of the qualifying list at the moment. Now it's Sandra Tomlins, 58.23, the time to beat to get into this stage. Former Harewood expert, James Blackmore. Trying to do so this afternoon, but... ...once, I think, to do it. And we're already into 52s, it's a 53.37. So seven hundredths of a second slower than on his first uh, time run this morning. Now on the hill, heading towards Country Corner, Will Hall. Car number 10, finished 10th in the championship last year with his old PC. 9-8, his first qualifying run this morning. Can he improve on that time? Really trying through Willow there, using all the road on the exit. And that's a good line, good exit from Farmhouse, giving that slingshot up the straight path. Let's find the Adams on 50.97. No, 52.26. Well, that's uh, fourth fastest qualifier, but will it be enough to make the cut this afternoon? Now we go back in the, the same class for Paul Morgan's rerun, car 82. He's already into an out of orchard. This is the X Sand Racing chassis with a Honda Blackbird engine. First visit to Harewood at a 60.84 this morning. No. 61.62, slightly slower. On the hill at the moment, car 102. Uh, Peter Speakman in the uh, 1972 Fisher Alfa Romeo monocoque or Farm Special 2 litre Alfa Romeo engine the engine purchased for the Princeton of 100 pounds well, I think you might you know, with a little bit of still pretty, um, pretty economical motor Well, this um, last one, the Path Hill Climber, Brown's Farmhouse. Car built originally for circuit racing, Peter with a 6681 on his first time run. Can he make inroads into that? No, he can't. 6797. <laughs> Now with a two litre box all engine in the back. And I believe this is uh, Lori 